Good morning folks. We have a little sheepdog here, don't we? Oh yes. Check out little Reggie. He's a good boy. Is that ball then Reg? Come on bud. Hey, get the ball. Get that ball. Bring it. Can I have it please? Can I have it? Reggie. Reggie. Good lad. Watch him lay down when I bounce it. Oh yes. He loves it. Go on then Reg. Well there we go, that's the start to the morning folks. So we're off into the brewery. But you're staying here pal today aren't you? Yes you are. Because we've got lots of jobs to do and I've got to update you on exactly what they are. Oh cutie. Come here Reg. Oh Reg. Oh Reg. <laughs> Reginald. Look at his bum wiggling around. He's crazy. But lovely. Hey mate. Hey mate. Anyway, enough of that, let's go to work. Good morning then folks, we're in the brewery and well, it's been a couple of days I think since we've had a walk around in here. And wow, what a mess it is. Yeah, I think the last video I put out was when we picked up the benches from the auction in Sheffield. Anyway, uh, we've had to borrow a little bit more money because Tom has indeed been spending it on kitchen equipment. So, as you can see in the background, here we've got some slow cookers. This is a big kitchen mixer. Just some little bits here as well, kind of uh, scourers and what have you. But we've also been to a company called RTH Catering I think it was, in um, Sheffield and we've picked up these pieces of equipment. So this is a double fridge that he wants, stainless steel, 21, 20 high, 850 wide and uh, no, 1430 wide, 850 deep, a freezer uh, which is about half the size of the fridge We've got a massive 1200 wide, so 4 foot wide by 740 deep. You bugger. It's just kicked on at the wrong time, that hasn't it? 740 deep uh, charcoal grill, gas powered, and then we've got a three door about this height, three doors along, saladette fridge. So two and a half grand all in for that lot. And yeah, broke the bank. Here's a bit of an idea as to what they were. Right, the lava grill, um, refrigerated, that's a four door fridge, and the big upright. We were gonna order from this company called Adexa online, and then we found out that it had absolutely terrible reviews. And uh, while they were cheap, there was a huge chance of the equipment never turning up. So we decided to knock the budget option on the head and go and buy reconditioned second hand but all this equipment is like Linkat uh, branded proper good catering equipment. And then he's also got a list here from Tom cover his email up that uh, yeah, we've got all these bits and bobs to get ordered and a little bit more there. So we've got a big, 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 big shopping list to kind of put together and uh, well, that's going to take a while. I've also had to pick up a steam cleaner for the cooker hood in the kitchen. So while we've been in there for a long time and I have said to the staff, when you've got some downtime, get that cooker hood cleaned. None of them have touched it. The outside's been cleaned, but you know where all the inside crap is, it hasn't. Down here we've got hand towel dispensers, soaps, cleaners, scourers, all that kind of stuff. And in here we have some grease baffle filters for the extractor hood as well. They've arrived today. 
So there's five of those to go in. And then also over here, this is for the brewery. I've picked up some Fermo Yeast AY5. We're gonna be using that for brewing some beer in the next week or two because, uh, well, we've got beer in one tank and everything else, yeah, is looking pretty low. So definitely gonna have to get brewing some beer at some point. So the workshop, again, bit of a mess. You can see I've been in here cutting tables down and all that kind of stuff. And quite frankly, we've definitely not had time to come in and tidy up. These are some of the offcuts from the tables, look. So we did have some solid wood ones, which is not bad. So yeah, apart from having a quick scan around, you can see it's, it's messy in here, but yeah, I've been finishing at kind of half nine, 10 o'clock every night this past week. And quite frankly, I'm a bit pooped, but I'm really enjoying it. So I've been coming in a little bit later because Tom can't start until one o'clock every day. And uh, yeah, so I've come in a little bit later. So what, I'm think, what I think I'm gonna be doing is uh, maybe editing the videos in the morning just to give me a little bit of breathing space in the evening for a while. But I do want to pick up on the videos again. And here's another revelation. We are gonna start using vegan friendly finings in the, in the beers. Anyway, that's morning shop waffle. So let's get on with some proper work. So Stuart's just come back with good news. Check these bad boys out. So. He's been to the presentation this morning. I didn't go because obviously it's not my kind of thing, but uh, it was too early in the morning for me. And uh, yeah, well, we've picked up, we're finalists. So thanks to everybody who's voted for the North Knots Business Awards. I'll just stick you on the tripod and we'll open these certificates up and have a look. Right then, so uh, there we go. Hospitality, best hospitality award finalists 2020 for the brew shed that's not bad going is it and all i've done in here is make beer so i don't know how i've managed to get one of these so yeah and then finalists for the best artisan business harrison's brewery head judge was neil roberts whoever he is i'll check that out the judge on here as well oh there was no judge on that anyway super excited Another accolade to go on the wall. So uh, I'm not sure how the final round is judged, if it's public vote or they do it there and then. We shall soon see. So uh, I'll keep you in the know, but the one thing I don't like about it is for the presentation, it's a black tie dinner. So you have to rock up in a tuxedo. Can you imagine me in a tuxedo? <laughs> like a fat penguin. Right, so here is uh, the kitchen. And it doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, most of the stuff has been moved, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna pull this fryer out. I'm in a bit of a rush now because we're just off pick another one of these up so Tom wants four fryers in total so he's got big plans um, but what I want to do before I go is kind of hit the wall with a little bit of this so it can start to do its thing before we get back so uh, yes kind of all up here could do with a good spray. Oh my god, it's all showering down on me. Probably not a good idea. Probably do with gloves on then for this. But if we get the worst bits before we go, we can see how it loosens it all up for when we come back. Alright. Well, let's have a look how that works. So yeah, we're gonna jump in the van now, shoot across to Newark, and go and have a look at another one of these, essentially. Double deep fat fryer. 
This one's on a stand though, I believe. I knew we'd end up in the workshop before we did any proper work. So the fan has arrived. That's this little beauty. So it's a model 400E4ST. So 1300 RPM, 160 watts, three quarters of an amp. And it comes with a speed control and the start capacitor quite messily just hanging out of the side. So if we start her up on the slowest speed, you'll probably not hear me very well now when I do this, so I'll try and drop the volume a touch. So this is as slow as it will go and it's pulling about 100 watts as it stands. Picking up, picking up, picking up. And it kind of levels out at about this speed. So, we're sitting at about 120 watts, thereabouts, on the meter. Hopefully you can see. You can't see any of that, can you? 116 watts. So let's take her up to full speed. So that's picked up a bit now. And we're up to 155. 160. That's not bad. Seems pretty cheap to run. It's relatively quiet. And yes, it is definitely moving some air. So let's turn that off. And it's quietened down a touch now. So this needs to be installed, but of course there's no point installing this until we have completely cleaned the extractor hood, canopy and flue and all the rest of it. So that is our job today. Uh, we've been and picked up also a deep fat fryer from Newark Motor Auctions. It's probably not in its best state. Um, here's those baffles that I spoke about earlier on. More shiny shiny stainless. So there's five of those to go in the canopy. We've just had a delivery of um, wines and all sorts of other things. Tequila, Hennessy. So let's get in the back of the van and have a look at what we've got in here. Right, we also, whilst in Newark, went to the bottle shop and picked up, restocked, if you will, our uh, regular range, the Sam Smith's Organic and the like. And then it's probably easier to come to the side door to show you this. So here she is, three phase, nice and uh, handy actually, double fryer. Cupboard underneath, cabinet hinges there, but yeah, all needs cleaning big time. And then from home, I've brought some of these pots and a potato chipper. So you might recognize some of these. I started brewing on one of these pots many a year ago, this mayor one here, but I think they're now gonna find a better home in the kitchen. There we go. So I'm sure you guys appreciate how much I've actually got on my plate at the minute. It's uh, it's fun, it's exciting, I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, don't get me wrong. It's not causing me any of the kind of stress that keeps you up at night. I'm really having fun and I think we've got a very, very good team behind us. So that's a real, real benefit. So what I'm gonna do now is just unplug this fan, go upstairs to the uh, kitchen and change my jacket to some scruffs and really make a start on getting this grease sorted out and then when Tom the chef comes in he'll be able to join in with me and we'll both have, uh, have some scrubbing action on the go. Are you yeah we're videoing mate. So this is Tom folks. Hello. Head chef. 
extraordinaire and uh, he's got the good idea of let's get some before and afters of the state of this in here so you'll probably not be able to see very well because steel's just steep lens up but if I shine a light just look at that it is absolutely grimy it's about as grimy as it comes I don't think we're going to get back there though do you yeah, because I don't think. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it might have to stop at the other side of the fan on me and install the fan. But yeah, just look at the state of it all. We've hit most of this side, which has come up pretty nice. But yeah, that gives you an idea. Just the grease and the slime, man. It's uh, rank. It's grimy at best. So we're going to carry on, and we'll have a few shots later on. Uh, hopefully of a nice shiny bit of stainless kit. There's a little bit that I'm going to take off for tea later on. <laughs> and there we have it. So baffles in place, all cleaned, all polished. That looks a thousand times better with those in though, doesn't it? I mean, look how shiny they are. Spot on. Another job, well done. Right. And just like that, folks, we are done. Backlit by the flytrap, no less. So, yeah, I'm gonna jump in the car or in the van, cruise home. I'm tired, it's half past seven. Long days, they're becoming long days, uh, but it's all for a good cause, as I said earlier on. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have time to put a bit of a vlog together for you. I'm planning on it. And uh, then Friday, we're having lots of kitchen equipment delivered. And that's going to be a very difficult day because we've got to get it all in before we open at lunch. See you on the next one.